I thought this one was really interesting. So I started watching a bit of it. I feel like this case is really, really familiar. A lot of people will probably know what this one is. If you don't, we'll just watch it. So all of the women that we're covering tonight are up for execution. And for some reason, there's always this movement when somebody's up for execution to be like, no, don't kill them. They're human. Like they've changed and everything. Like, you know, I, I get that. So this is a video by BBC that I felt like had undertones of free Lisa Montgomery, which is crazy because I, I'm going to spoiler alert for you guys because this one's about 16 minutes. Lisa Montgomery is a woman that met a girl, a woman named Bobby Joe Stinnett, who was a dog breeder and Bobby Joe was pregnant. And Lisa Montgomery met her online and pretended to also be pregnant. And she was looking for another pregnant woman, but um, she was not with child at all. In fact, I don't think that she could have kids, but she really wanted one. So she pretended to be pregnant to get closer to this woman. Also, she could meet up with her and kill her and cut her baby out of her body and claim it as her own. So. I felt like this BBC video um, had undertones of wanting to exonerate Lisa Montgomery, which I thought was interesting. Um, she's of course now been executed, but I was like, you know what? Let's just dive in. Let's watch this. Maybe they'll give us some more details, but if they don't cover everything, um, I think I know a lot about this story and I think I can fill in some blanks. It was midwinter, midday. Oh, almost 2K guys. Thanks for hanging out tonight. As Lisa Montgomery drove through the desolate landscape of western Missouri. Oh my god. And into the small town of Skidmore. A rope and a knife in her jacket. Jesus. Inside this house lived a 23 year old dog breeder, Bobby Joe Stinnett. Lisa said oh, we did she had come to look nice. at her puppies. But Bobby Joe was pregnant, and Lisa had come for her unborn child. I, we don't want Lisa Montgomery's story. Oh, we want Bobby Joe Skinner's story. Oh, shit. What's wrong? She's running around. She's just beside herself. It's just, it's too much. You know, you're listening to a mother that has just found their, their daughter dead. And that anguish, and it's just, yeah, I, I don't ever want to hear it again. How can people defend shit like that? Nick, you would be surprised how many people even come into this chat and they're like, this chat is disgusting for making fun of people with mental illness. And I'm like, well, that's an interesting way to defend killers. Get the fuck out, dude. It happens all the time. Please, honey. Lisa strangled Bobby Joe, then took steps to remove her child. <gasps> Lisa told me that she cut the cord held it between her fingers, put the baby inside her coat, and went out the door and got in her vehicle and drove off. Lisa had made careful preparations. She'd come with a syringe and a clamp. She'd studied C-sections on the internet. The baby survived. This is not something of somebody that's, you know, has a mental illness. This is, this was not a spontaneous fit of anger or rage. This was meticulously planned out. I'm not sure if they're going to cover this um, in this one, but to my knowledge, Lisa Montgomery was in a relationship with a man um, that was pretty tumultuous, and she locked him down by saying, I'm pregnant. But she was never pregnant. And as time went on, she's buying bag your clothes, buying bag your clothes. And he's like, yo, where's the baby bump? Where's the baby bump? So Lisa stole this baby to hide her lie from her boyfriend so that he would stay. And she did bring that baby home, and that was not his child. Bobby Joe was loved in this small, close-knit town. You couldn't live in Skidmore and not know her. So this is it? This is, this is buried. Karen Kepka was her friend. She looked good pregnant. She really did. She had that 
internal glow. She doesn't get that opportunity I haven't heard of that one, to Foggy. hold her baby. Because that woman took that right away from her. I can't even comprehend what Bobby's family went through. Lisa Montgomery took Bobby Jo Stennett from us. Personally, today, I think she's evil. I think she is evil. This is one of the most premeditated murders I've heard, because she talked to this woman online for months. Living, thank you. This is Lisa Montgomery. Ah! Is Crack a joke. Chat, I know y'all got jokes. I know y'all got jokes on this shit. <laughs> Uh, Lisa looks like she just smelled herself. <laughs> I like how her default is like musty. Is this the face of evil or just of a broken woman? An evil, oh, broken, oh, musty oh, woman. I think she was probably about five there. Diane Mattingly, her half sister, grew up in the it's same Karen. house as Lisa. <laughs> we'll look at her eyes here to see how bright and how big her smile is. One Me before my glow up, Diane stop. Was eight, and Lisa just four. There came an ordeal so traumatic that it's left lifelong scars. Lisa and I were in the same room. We had bunk beds, but our beds were right next to each other. If we reached out with our little arms, um, we could touch hands. Our little arms. This man walks into our room and um, he gets undressed and he gets in bed with me and and he he rapes me and um, I um I remember just really thinking I have to be quiet. Oh. She wakes up. Oh. My heart, dude. And I couldn't. I couldn't let him do this to her. I couldn't. So I took it. Diane never spoke of her rape as a child. That's her but sister. Was later taken to foster care for parental neglect. After she left, Lisa felt the wrath of her mother, Judy. The suffering that Lisa had at the hands of her mother is almost indescribable. This is what I'm talking about. The BBC is covering the story of Lisa Montgomery trying to humanize her, and I, we're not humanizing Lisa Montgomery. We're just not. Well, that's not her, but... Judy would tape her mouth shut because she just didn't want to hear her mouth. She didn't want to hear her talking, so she would tape her mouth shut. Lisa, who confessed to her crime, has been in prison for 16 years. Toby, who is in prison with her, became a close friend. Lisa told Toby she had brain damage. She thinks that probably happened when her stepfather would grab her. Ooh, by her 2K! Hair and Thanks her for hanging out tonight, guys. Driveway repeatedly. One more case before I survive. Just six or seven years old. Lisa's family moved constantly, a life of poverty, alcohol, and violence. I don't. Eventually, Lisa, too, was preyed upon and raped. Her tormentor was her stepfather, Jack. It started I ain't mad at that ballad. Kratos thinks it's up. it started before then. But what we know is that Jack Kleiner started to groom her, as pedophiles do. You know, he would strip her naked. He would, um, you know, whip her with belts and, you know, beat her with his hands on her naked body. Some of the abuse Lisa suffered as a child and her mental condition came up at her trial in 2007. Well, of course. None of it was seen as cause for leniency. Lisa was sentenced to death. But just four years ago, Lisa began to speak of her teenage years, the time of her deepest terror. 
Jack had built a special room off of the trailer that they had lived in. Is she still alive? And, no, she was um, executed. They would bring Lisa in there. So the plumbers would come in and, and have sex with her. And they would hit her if she did it wrong or if they needed electrical work. Hey, I got a daughter here you can have sex with. The men, Lisa said, degraded and hurt her. Three or four of them at a time. For hours. I still can't grasp how a mother can say to her child, you have to earn your keep, so you have to have sex with I'm, this man yo. so I can get the plumbing done. A member of the team that originally prosecuted Lisa is skeptical of these horrific allegations. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Bunny Boy. I, I, I don't like death penalty. I don't. Just give him life forever. The rape did not surface until 12 years after uh, the, the trial. Now at the 11th hour, we have this newly discovered evidence, and Lisa Montgomery is the source that brings this up. It's an extremely delayed disclosure of additional horrific abuse. Lisa herself is the main source of the story. How can we know it's true? The government's chief expert at trial told us that he was now convinced that Lisa was sexually abused, gang raped, and trafficked by her mother. Lisa's stories were corroborated by her cousin. Now Lisa has been diagnosed with mental disorders which make her delusional. She was just kind of um, almost catatonic some days. She had spent so much time in her life blocking out horrible things that she just had this wall and she just blocked. For months, she lied to her boyfriend about her pregnancy to keep him around, found a pregnant woman on Facebook, befriended her and pretended to be pregnant for five or six months, and then drove hours to her house under the guise of wanting to meet her dogs, strangled her, a friend of hers, and then cut the baby out of her body. You cannot, I don't think you can plead insanity to this, especially not 30 years later. Like, yes, you can be highly traumatized, but this was so incredibly callous and planned, and it was all for Lisa to continue her lies. And, and you know, interesting. Locked out everything, you know, good things and bad things. It was just the way she coped with anything. Yeah, and she researched how to do a C-section. Come the fuck on, dude. Skidmore, where the murder took place, is in a deeply Republican part of America. The town is poor, derelict, and mainly white. This is Middle America. Here, many dismiss Lisa's mental issues as excuses. I think it's an insult to sexual assault survivors to imply that they're ticking time bombs and at some point they're just going to go out and do some horrendous crime. Damn! He said it Bobby too! Jones All right now! Agrees. When you heard that Lisa Montgomery had been sentenced oh, Yeah, that death, was a good statement. What did you think? Yes. You want to see her put to death? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. In fact, if I could pull the switch, I would do it. A pardon it's by personal. President Trump would outrage many of his supporters. These parts of America didn't vote for <laughs> Biden. He wants American justice to focus on rehabilitation and redemption. President-elect Joe Biden wants to abolish the death penalty. Do you think people around here are ready for that? You're in a red county, and Missouri's pretty much red. This is a Republican. Why area. do we still with the election results in this area? So that's a no. That's a no. President Trump has cleared the way for executions to go on. Even if lethal injections aren't available, he has approved the use of firing squads, gas chambers. Oh my God! Do you support that? I'm okay with that. Firing squad? Okay firing squads? Sure. Firing squad? 
do you guys, yo, one in chat if you know exactly what a firing squad is, two in chat if you didn't. I remember reading about this in history textbook, textbooks, so I think most of us know what this is. Okay. Firing squad, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't. A firing squad is literally where they take a person that's to be executed, put them up against a wall or whatever, probably blindfold them and shit, and they have people line up and shoot to kill, aiming to shoot at the heart. I've, ever since I read about a firing squad, I'm fucking terrified. I think it's still legal in some states in the US. I don't know if anyone can confirm. Terre Haute, Indiana. I could, Pret, no I could not. No woman has been sentenced to death by the U.S. federal government in almost 70 years. Jeez. But Lisa Montgomery is to be executed here in seven days. Protesters keep vigil. And we'll just keep tolling this bell. I thought she was going to say, and we'll just keep tolling this bitch. I was like, all right now. That she, in fact, has died. President Trump has overseen more executions in a single year than any president since the 1800s. It's really a sad, sad statement that this killing spree has happened under President Trump. I think it's basically red meat for his babes. That's exactly, that's the only reason he's doing it. Uh, it's the, 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 you know, they love execution. Far fewer Americans today back the death penalty than Okay, I'm ago. sorry. Um, I, I'm gonna, I can't, I can't anymore because the, I thought that this would at least somewhat cover what Lisa Montgomery did, but it didn't. And just to remind you, once again, she pretended to befriend a woman for six months, came to her house, strangled her and cut her baby out of her body and stole her child to raise them to trick her boyfriend. Okay. Like period. Like, do, like, no, we don't like the death penalty, but she should not be exonerated. Are you fucking kidding me?